by why why do we even want to go hybrid? A lot of companies already migrated their Exchange server and Skype for Business in Office 365 without keeping their on-premises equivalent. The reason is that SharePoint Server is not equal to SharePoint Online in terms of functionality and flexibility. I know that even for Exchange, and especially if there are any Exchange or Skype for Business professionals listening, I don't want to offend you. I know that even for Exchange and Skype for Business, there are some differences that could stop a company from migrating. However, most companies never customize Exchange, and most business users, to be honest, do not use Exchange. Most business users don't really even care what Exchange is. They use Outlook. So moving services such as Exchange and Skype for Business to the cloud doesn't have as much of an impact on business users such as moving SharePoint. When we compare SharePoint Server 2016 with SharePoint Online, we realize that the UI is different, the capabilities are different, and some customizations we did in SharePoint on-premises cannot even be migrated to SharePoint Online. By, but then why not stay on-premises or go fully to the cloud? Let's take a look at the advantages of each platform. Let's start with the advantages of SharePoint Online. As you know, Microsoft vision is to go mobile first, cloud first. And I'm sure you heard that a ton of times in the past two years, mobile first, cloud first. As Microsoft pushes updates to SharePoint Online every two weeks, it also pushes cloud only updates. For example, Delve, Office 365 Video, and Office 365 Groups. Those are only a few examples of things that are only available in SharePoint Online for now. Furthermore, another big advantage for SharePoint Online is that by default, it's accessible all over the world. You can achieve that with on-premises as well. However, you need to invest in the security, in the infrastructure, everything to make it secure. Talking about on-premises, Let's see why with all those cool advantages in the cloud, why would companies want to stay on-prem? There are multiple good reasons to stay on-premises. The first, which is a really popular one, is that on-prem allows you to customize your SharePoint to answer to your specific business needs. Being able to easily develop and create custom branding and solutions on your SharePoint is the reason why it's so used now and had such a great success. Since SharePoint Online doesn't allow developers to do full trust code, also known as firm solutions, and doesn't give you to all, uh, all the SharePoint tools, for example, timer jobs. So it's really limited in terms of what you can do to customize your SharePoint. Second reason is having control on the data. For political or legal reasons, some companies need to keep their data in their data center or within their geographical boundaries. Third reason is that even with the greatest and latest updates in SharePoint Online, SharePoint on-premises still has some features that SharePoint Online doesn't. For example, all the BI stack like scorecards, dashboards, reporting services, performance point. Also on the search side, you're missing features such as custom entity extraction. To continue on, there's no there's no more public site in SharePoint Online. You cannot have an internet site on SPO. Other service applications missing are the Word Automation Services, PowerPoint Automation Services. So you see if any of those enterprises got SharePoint and they're relying on those service applications, on those features for their business needs, they're never going to move to SharePoint Online since SharePoint on-prem is the answer to their business needs. And to continue with a subject that is tied with both the control and the feature is the limits. There are multiple limits you simply cannot get around in SharePoint Online. Let me give you an example that, let, let me give you a few examples that in my experience have annoyed customers the most. The 5,000 list item threshold for on-prem is a recommended limit and SharePoint admins can change it anytime they want. However, it's a hard limit on SharePoint Online. Whatever you want to do, you cannot change it. Also, another, another thing, there is no public crawl schedule in SharePoint Online. So if you have a search-based intranet, a search-based site, it can either take Munich 
or up to six hours before your content gets crawled. And here's another big one that I discovered the hard way. If you rely on user profile audiences to show your data, they usually compile every night on SharePoint on-prem and you can even do it manually or you can change the schedule to fit your needs. However, on SharePoint Online, it's only done once per week on the Saturday. So if you add a user to an audience on Monday, they will need to wait one full week to see the expected results. To continue on, you cannot have custom URLs in SharePoint Online. All your URLs are under the form of company name.sharepoint.com and you cannot create any custom managed packs except the built-in slash teams or slash sites one. Lastly, another difference between SharePoint on-premises and SharePoint online is that on SharePoint online, you do not control the release cycle and the updates. And let me give you a realistic example of something that, that uh, happened recently. Uh, for example, the new document library experience. First release customers got the new man, uh, the new document library experience, and a lot of custom solutions broke because users were able to activate it themselves. And that stuff that you know that on SharePoint Online is going to come. Microsoft is going to enable it. Not today. Maybe it's going to take a year, but you still Microsoft is going to enable it at some point. On prem, you can always say, okay, I'm not going to install that update, and what works now works. So let me continue on and I see that I have a small question right now on SharePoint, on the SharePoint 2016 and let me see who asked it. I think Ignacio Ortiz asked on the SharePoint 2016 introduction done by Bill Baer, they told us that the 5,000 item limit is not going to be a problem. Exactly. On, on 2016, on SharePoint on-premises, it's never going to be a problem. On SharePoint online, it's a problem because they have a hard limit on it and they're not going to change it anytime soon. So I hope I answered your question. Now let me continue the slides. So why hybrid? Well, with SharePoint hybrid, you get to use the best of SharePoint server and SharePoint online and decide where each workload goes depending on your business needs. By enabling a hybrid SharePoint deployment, you get the benefits of both SharePoint on-prem and SharePoint Online to answer your business needs. So you get best of both worlds.